Hey, it's Janae. Welcome back to Joyfully Janae. If you are new here, I hope you find it in your heart to subscribe. We are T minus, let's see, three, four days in of this C flu junk. Um, so yeah, I went back to work yesterday. I worked from home, so yeah, I went back to my computer, started doing some work. I had to take a couple of days off. Um, it was kind of rough, but we are coming at the end of the tunnel, thank God. I hope I continue to get better. My boy's in there on his virtual school, and I'm drinking my electrolytes, I'm drinking my fizz. So yeah, I'm actually going to do some DIYs on this vlog. I'm excited. I'm going to do my my vase that is a Pottery Barn dupe. Um, and it's going to be super cute. I'm also going to feature some of the DIYs I've already done on my previous year to pull it all together for you guys. But yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to show you where I'm getting the idea from um I actually got the idea from Liz Fenwick DIY but where the original um idea come from is I do believe Pottery Barn I'm gonna post it here and then I'm gonna show you that um let you walk with me through the process of it all and yeah I'm excited so let's do this so yeah I got on Pottery Barn just to look at the different cute clay like artisan looking vases and I think I'm going to go with this look right here um, and add some gold into it. So, yeah. So, this is all my supplies. I'm going to do this vase and here's my speckle and my paint and all the things I'm going to use. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, I ended up getting, having to use my other speckle because that one speckle just wasn't working out very good. Um, so... I ended up doing this other speckle and um, using my hands. I probably should have used a um, some gloves, but I couldn't find any gloves. So this is what I had to do. So I ended up using my fingers and just kind of pulling it up towards the top like this and smearing it and um, I would recommend using a glove, some gloves and then right here I just took my popsicle stick and just made ridges like on the Pottery Barn website base and this is how it turned out. I then took it outside and I spray painted it and um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it looks like a pottery, like a literally like a artisan pottery. Once I got the white spray paint on, you can use pretty much any spray paint you want. Um, so yeah, once it was dry, I let it sit out there and dry. I started putting my little personal touches on it. Um, I did gold and some black because that's like the colors of the aesthetic and my nanny's decoration she's got in there. Um, I'm doing pieces at a time and it's like not super fancy i mean she's older i mean she's in her 70s so i'm just trying to keep it like you know simple but cute and um i need to get some acrylic black paint this is the only paint i had turned out super cute and i got these succulents from dollar tree with the clear jar and put some white rocks from dollar tree in there so this is all my diy Dollar Tree stuff. So I decided to do like a DIY and recipe collab of super easy recipes. First up, we're gonna do the DIYs I've already done and then you'll get to see my recipes. Here we go. I made this super cute, not, um, not a correct plate. Um, and what I did was I got a 55 cent plate from Walmart and I took some of their Nautica rope you can get a bigger spool off of Amazon and it turned out pretty pretty cute then I stuck these stu succulents inside this glass jar with some um, rocks and then I got a Dollar Tree Valentine's lid and I took some rope and I just wrapped it around and made a basket out of a lid and literally all it took was just wrapping it around and making a um, 
uh, strips of hot glue around just continued on and I made a little handle by the first one I just glued down to the lid Well, measurements will be in my blog, but literally I took some of dairy-free cashew yogurt, put some stevia in it, stirred it up, and then put it on a parchment um, lined baking sheet. And I poured it on there and just spread it out. Um, then, and then I took some frozen berries and put them in there and just sprinkled them in there evenly, distributed them. Um, you could even drizzle a little bit of maple syrup in it, like the fresh maple syrup to get a sweeter taste. And like anytime like I'm craving something sweet or something like that, I could go in there. What to do is break it up, break it all, put it back in the um, freezer for a quick grab snack. Eat, or go in there and grab a piece out of the bag that I've already broke off. Because what you do is once it's frozen, you break it into pieces and stick it in a Ziploc bag and stick it back in the freezer. Like I crave frozen yogurt sometimes. Um, I probably should have went a little sweeter. Oh, and you add vanilla to the yogurt as well. Next up, it is my 90 second keto bread. Let's do it. All right, so what you do is you get you some almond flour, some butter, an egg, some baking soda, mix it all together, stick it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So literally I melted the butter first and then you add all the ingredients, mix it up and put it in there for 90 seconds, let it sit and then you can slice it. Um, I'll have all exact measurements linked in my blog. My blog post should be up to, you know, by this evening. I'm gonna have all of these uploaded to my blog. So yeah, the link's below for my blog. Um, so yeah, like it's super easy, like, I didn't want to have all the carby stuff and I was craving a egg sandwich. So I literally just added these, uh, these ingredients into a cup and um, it turned out super yummy. Like I love egg and tomatoes together. Check out the same results, so yummy. Next up, it is my keto low carb parmesan crusted turkey chops. And I, what I did was I did a cup of parmesan, a cup of almond flour, dipped my meat in uh, that beaded egg, and then put it in the bag and just batter them all up. Put them in the oven at 400 for 20 to 25 minutes. And I paired them with my yummy zucchini. Um, so for my favorite zucchini, I half moon them. And then I literally put some olive oil, some garlic powder. And I take a teaspoon of Better Than Beyond Veggie. And oh so my yeah, gosh, that's sometimes pretty I much our dinner sometimes for I roasted, the last night. That night sweet potatoes. I did it on the sheet pan with my crusted zucchini and turkey and chop. Super yummy. So I took four poplanos, roasted it under uh, broil in the oven on five, for five minutes on each side and then I covered it to let it just get soft and then I peeled it off and I cut them in half, deseeded it and took the stem off um, and then I used the peppers, I cooked the ground turkey, I took some organically cooked ground turkey, cooked it with some garlic powder, salt and pepper. Once it got done, sprinkled some taco seasoning, then a can of tomato paste, a jar of salsa, and then I mixed in a little bit of cassava flour and then put my roasted red peppers on top. And then I shredded some Vermont cheddar aged cheese. <clears throat> and then I 
uh, sprinkled some of this cheese on top and baked it at 375 for about 20 minutes and then I sprinkled it. Ribs and the other. Smoked turkey wing. Smoked turkey leg. Throw it in here. Two tablespoons of this. High pressure 20 minutes, slow release. Ribs and is cider vinegar in. Grill. We'll grill them after they're done. Enough water to cut. Part two. Look how tender these ribs are from this pot. 25 minutes on high pressure for these greens and black eyed peas, hop and John. Yum. So for my ribs, I just, after they cooked in the Instapot, I put them on the grill with some barbecue sauce. This was from New Year's Day, or night, I think. So, yeah, and then I just put it on there, and bam. Next up, uh, my Easy Smoke barbecue chicken salad is literally just some romaine, some of Sam's smoked chicken, some French fried onions, a little bit of cheddar cheese, some sticky finger sweet sauce with ranch, and some jalapenos. So what you do is you take your chicken broth, your frozen potatoes, your cream of chicken, and your onions, and you whisk it all together and then you put it in this pot for three minutes on high pressure then you quick release and then you add the cream cheese and i add some instant mashed potatoes that's my trick to my um my potato soup is the instant mashed potatoes it thickens it up and you don't have to puree nothing because the original recipe calls for pureed and half diced and this is the end result and then i pair it with some london last night i paired it with a london broil um toasted sandwich it was so good all right so my taco rice is literally ground turkey um cauliflower rice fire roasted tomatoes cook the turkey meat add all the ingredients and boom you got it right here and I got the cauliflower rice that is actually got some peas and corn in it. It was like a mixy blend. You could find them at Kroger in different places. All right, well you can find most of my recipes on my blog or my Instagram. And I'm doing a e-recipe book, God willing, here soon. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. It just helps me out so much and I appreciate you guys. If you wanna see more of my videos, don't forget. Remember, we're here to please God, not man, and Jesus loves you. Bye, y'all.